Okay, so we're out here in Gallery Place, the middle class, catching up with Wizzle X, greatness designer himself. Um, let's do a little bit of reflecting. We was out here, yeah, which was not too long ago, maybe the end of April, yeah, in May. Yeah. And we, were, the main thing then was the, the t-shirts, yeah. the Georgetown shirts and the the one with the mall you made, the whole city, tell yeah. the whole city. And then, at that interview you told me you were just in the art, you do all types of art. Yeah. Now I'm seeing the graphics. Perfect. Yeah, seeing the graphics more. Yeah. And I feel like you've been hiding stuff for us. Well, what I have, come on. This I feel like you've been hiding stuff. What I've been hiding? I, I know that you're humble. I am. But I'm, I'm seeing a lot of stuff on your Instagram yeah, I've been that I'm not too sure about. I've been so can I ask you? Yeah, sure, anything. You want to tell me the truth? Yeah, anything. I know you want to tell me the truth. Anything. I feel like you've been holding back. Alright. Okay, so first, I see a lot of the, I want to say the back in the day Greek statues. Man. Yeah, they definitely a big part. What was the inspiration behind See, I don't pose the tail, but it's, it got a lot to do with Red Summer. Oh. Red Summer, it got a lot to do with that. And the way I'm taking that is like, it's like something that never happened before. And that's all I'm gonna tell you about that part. And the rest you have to see the part. Tell us about the party. All right, the party is August 11th, and the party is just like, it's just to give everybody, but more you, you all like a new look, like everything. That first look. Okay, first look. So the rare summer collection is about to drop. Yeah. Tell me. And like, the theme is red. Yeah, we're red. Yeah. No, y'all see it on anything like all red, like a blood. Okay. It's like like something gotta be red. Okay. So is it what's behind red? Like the red? The red comes from it's red. Like when you get parties, you got all white parties, you got all black parties. It's all red parties. Okay, so let's get into the whole red thing, never yeah. been seen before, never been done before. Yeah, exactly. Okay. I wanna know what is like a day in a life like your designs and your artwork is totally different from a lot of things I'm saying. What are you doing differently from everybody else? Um, I'm not really doing nothing different from nobody else. What I'm basically doing is giving people me. Yeah. See, that's what I'm giving. Where people. does it come from though? Do you it's, read like, it's, it has to be inspired by something. And you know the crazy thing about it? Everybody, if you if you didn't know me, you would thought I went to college or went to school for but it's not, it's none of that. It's just like a gift. Like, I, and I go off like vibes. I go off the music and good things like that. Okay, so greatness. Tell me what it means to be great. Um, like I said, great to be great is to be you. To be yourself. Yeah, because like, like, and I had like a couple of interviews where people ask me, what can I tell somebody looking up to me that want to be like where I'm at? Like, like I said, like I don't want nobody to be like me. To be great is to be you. You can be better than me. Like I want you to be better than me. Like be yourself. I mean, I think I got that from the. The visual we just saw with the Tupac head. Oh yeah, okay, see, and a lot that of people didn't great. get that. A lot of people thought it was Wale. I'm not sure why. What? Yeah, a lot no. of people said, man, Maybe we got Wale on this. I'm like, nah, that's Tupac. So, was was that kind of you speaking through that song? Is that yeah, how you feel about staying yeah. true to yourself? Oh, definitely, that was, yeah. Do you think staying true to yourself is something hard to do? Because not a lot of people that's, do it. It's the most hardest thing in life to do ever because Regardless, a lot of people trying to stand out, fit in. That's not being you. Being you is just like actually being you and giving you. And a lot of people don't do that. A lot of clothing lines don't do that. They go for other people by the, oh, he doing this, let me do this better. Like, you never come to compete with nobody. You just be you. At the end of the day, that's why I like how I, I am the way I am. I don't got to compete with nobody because I'm giving people me. Is that what makes you so humble? Yeah, that's what it is. Because I can do a thousand things in it. And like, I'm just trying to better myself. So if I feel like man, I could do a thousand times better, then I got to come in myself even more hard. And how are you? You're doing a lot. And it's only been two. I've, I've seen. I want to ask you about Ho. And I want to ask you about. I do the other. I go ahead. What? Have you ever worked with them? Have you ever done work for them? I, with the Jay Z situation, like Spiff, if you know Spiff with MG, they can't. He play a big part in any artwork I do that, that touches other people, I appreciate Spiff so much. Like anything from Atlanta Records, he put me on with everything. Spiff came about with just saying my artwork, like I said, just being me. I one day I designed some artwork, just just throwing it out there. 
and next thing you know, in the morning I woke up, I had an email. I mean, like, on my Instagram, he was like, email me. Like, he just left his email. I'm like, who is this dude? Because I'm not in, I'm not big with celebrities. So I'm like, who is this dude? So my man was like, man, you don't know who that is, that's this and that. I'm like, okay, that's cool. So I emailed him, and he was like, text me. And I texted him, then he was like, yo, can, can you design something like this, like, for a single? And I didn't know what it was. So I'm like, what is for? Like, he was like, it's secretive. Like, I'm gonna tell you as soon as the artwork get approved. And like minutes later, like, it's like like anything like to do with me. Like, he asked for something to do with me. So I'm like, ah, right, he ain't asked for this and that. So 30 minutes later, I sent him something back. And his response was like, he was like, yo, like that's crazy. And I'm like, this is what I do. Like, I can do this. So then, like, time go past. And what happened was he asked me to do with it. What was it? It was a Meek Mill. Then Meek Mill came about. I seen him with the levels. He was you like, did man. that. Yeah, he was like, man, the levels, man. We need you on that level. He said, man, you already know. Mm -hmm. And like at the time, Smith had like a thousand dudes. Still to this day, he probably still got a thousand dudes that could do this. We was like, man, you got that touch. You got it's that touch. Different. That's it's what I'm nothing. saying. Like, you are a brand of your own. That's what I'm saying. And he went about that, and like, and one day he just like. And with the Atlanta thing, like, cause when I first came aboard a with, with him, it was like, no, like no money involved. It was like, this is like a favor for a favor. Like, he put me on, yeah. then I do that, him that for, you know what I'm saying. Yeah. So by me doing that, it's like, and then one day I'm just randomly at the Bray Palms game. He texts me, he was like, yo, I'm about to get you paid for your artwork. And I'm like, whoa, I'm like, nobody, I'm from Southeast. Like nobody don't do nothing for me. So I'm like, I'm used to doing it all for myself. So he was like, Give me your address, your, your full information on that, I'm gonna hit you up with Atlantic. They hit me up and I was like, man, like, in the artwork, he said, man, anything you do, anything with art, you get paid for it now. And I was like, man, that's crazy because, like, something I'm gifted at doing, I'm just getting paid for it now. And then it come up, like, everything I do, then it started turning to, like, payments. And, like I said, I'm not really too big a fan, like, of getting paid, but at the same time, like, it's good. Yeah, and then. With the Jay-Z thing, one day he just randomly sent me a picture. He was like, yo, see, it, it was Rick Ross actually in the picture. Okay. And it was like, he was like this, and it was Angel on top of him. He was like, yo, see, can you, you make this look crazy? I'm like, man, no problem. In 30 minutes, I sent it back. He was like, man, he was like, do you know, he said, you know what it's for? I said, I don't got no idea what it's for, I just did it. He said, yeah, that's for Hov and Ross. And I was like, whoa, and I was like, man, like, I was I was surprised, because I was like, I grew up listening to this dude, like, half my life, and to see that, it was, like, crazy. So that this dude, like, he put me on. So you, you have worked with Ho before? Yeah. What about, yeah? Now, I'm waiting. Wait. I'm, I hope he, I'm waiting. I, I, that's, I just want to say, Dante is not a rapper. I'm not, everybody think I'm a rapper. Some <laughs> he is not a rapper, why. but he's uh, probably, Connected with more people in the industry yeah. off of his art. Yeah, and I'll play like a big role. My last question, because yeah, I see, I see you. It's raining out here, y'all. Yeah. <laughs> but I see that you have progressed. You know, the money's coming in now, yeah. and you and are from, me. and you you are <laughs> definitely. He always showed up. Always. The same person mm -hmm. since since, a, since day one. He always showed up. But has there been any has there been any Thank changes? You. And, and how you see other people view you now that you, you're bigger and you're getting money. And like, have people have, like, has attitudes changed towards you? Yeah, a lot of, most like, yeah, a lot of attitudes. Like, now, in the hood, if I don't do something, it's like, man, who we think you, you ain't is? looking out? Or, yeah, mm -hmm. but like, me, I don't really get that problem too much because I'm always reaching with a hand out. I don't really get too, I don't really have too many problems because I stay to myself more. Yeah, so. okay. Not too many problems though, just me. So how have you changed? Me? Uh, Mentally. Not in, I'm not just, positively, I'm, I'm sure yeah. it, it's a little bit more now. Mentally, so how do you, how do you yeah. stay calm? Mentally, how do you I'm stay I'm just humble? aware now, I'm just aware now. Like, from the first interview, I can go anywhere and do anything I want to do without nobody paying me attention. Nah. But now it's to the point where, like every place I ever went, like when I was just walking down the hill, for example, like somebody was like, man, oh that's, man, that's him. Like, and to me, like a dude, like, man, what's up? Uh, what's up? Like, people know me now, but like, mm -hmm. and like when people see me, they surprised that I am the way I am. I'm like, man, that's me, y'all. Because day. you're completely, stay that way. I'm sure oh, you man. will. I know oh, you man. will. I mean, you oh, will. Man. And 
Release party, August 11th, red summer. Make sure you be there. Red. Red. Thank you, Wizzle. No problem. With the middle class again, we're <laughs> signing off. We gonna keep checking up on Dante. His, I feel like your story is you never amazing. Know what you gonna get there. That's all. Exactly. Thank you. Thank you.